Hey, good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. Do you guys ever do a job and then realize after the fact that you kind of messed up or you forgot something? Well, this morning we have the pleasure of running basically jumper cable wires through the back of the shower and um, Reed fished through this uh, PEX line, which is genius, and uh, we're going to somehow tie it to there, tape it, and we're just going to pull the whole thing through so we don't have to take the shower apart. So thanks, dude. All right, now I got a good solution here that uh, Reed, actually, I got, I got a good credit to Reed. Uh, we just ran a PEX line behind here as like a wire uh, conduit and uh, just fished these through wires through. We got this big 10-2, that's for the, uh, that goes from the combiner box uh, for the solar to the charge controller. So it's a pretty heavy duty wire. That's just gonna go up, up, and then through the roof right there, and that's where the combiner box is. But um, believe me, I've been reading the comments. Yes, I've heard it a million times, maybe about 14, to wire before I foam, and then guess what? Bus number three, I will probably do that. But this is a work in progress. But Not just the bus, myself, my life. And I'm learning what from to do if you ever make the same mistakes that Jack's just <laughs> Exactly. So if you do need a little modification of some sort, you can use ours as a way to uh, modify an existing build or... Um, you know, but you know, either way it works. It's all electricity is going to work. Everything's going to work. The foam is going to work. Um, but yeah, I love learning things from knowledge of people, knowledgeable people like Reed and Eric and Badge and and Steve, Punk Steve and and Justin Mojo Bus. So I'm just having a great time out here. So hopefully you guys are looking past my little you know mistakes and um, just enjoying the videos. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, this <laughs> is. <laughs> Uh, this is Eric, uh, Wanderboom, but oh my god, look at this countertop here, holy mackerel. Now this isn't what exactly it's going to look like, we're going to stain it and put a bunch of fun stuff on there, but... And it's going to do the waterfall thing going down across the... But... We are definitely doing a waterfall, and then this of course is going to be trimmed yeah, in. Yeah, angle across. Yep, and then down, but wow, look at how cool this thing is, holy crap. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know, I think I mentioned before, $2.88 a board foot. Um, uh, you know, contractor kind of people know, woodworkers know, it's a good deal. Everybody else, just take my word for it, it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> that or $35 a board foot, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, all this, wood, all this wood was uh, two, was it $300? Three, three, yeah, three. Including uh, three sides planed and all that stuff, so, and we have tons extra, so, oh, wow. It is coming together before our very own eyes. Okay, guys, what do you think? Because I know all you guys have an opinion. Trust me, I read the comments. Uh, so we got the hot water, cold water lines coming up to the sink area. We're got, uh, this is going to be the counter, um, sorry, the cooktop. So that's going to go through there. That's a hidden everything. We're going to insulate these uh, pipes. Reed wasn't a big fan of uh, going through the wheel well. It's a very easy place to, for the pipes to freeze. So uh, we're going to go up here. Cold weather uh, state, cold weather thinking. Um, so we're just going to kind of clean up, and uh, yeah, yep. we uh, yeah we're going to test uh, some of the systems. We're going to get the the water uh, hooked up over here, test it with the city water and stuff. Um, so before we go any further, uh, Reed wants to uh, make sure the lights work, make sure the plumbing works, make sure that this and then that works, which is probably a super smart way to do it. And uh, like I said, I'm learning every day here from guys more experienced than me, so I'm not the type of person to go and uh, tell the dentist how to fix my teeth. Same thing goes here. You ever run around with like a chicken without your head cut off? That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, just uh, ordering parts and trying to get, uh, since Reed wants to get all the systems going first, uh, and some of you guys, you know, builders who are like, oh, you need to get things going first, whatever definitely going to appreciate that. However, what you're also going to appreciate is we're going to do some slow motion routering here. Um, Eric has uh, drawn out uh, and cut out uh, chess uh, board pieces. And so, uh, yeah, let's, without f further ado, let's get into the action. Oh, and do you want to explain what you're doing here? All right, well, yeah, I've got the, uh, again, the, the, there's the main board, eight and eight are our main parts, and then an inch and a half uh, perimeter piece I'm going to put on to light color to uh, 
have it stand out a bit from the rest. And then, uh, so basically we've I've cut everything about a quarter inch thick. And uh, so now I'm routering everything down in a quarter inch. And I'm just going all the way around the perimeter first, then I'll be able to kind of clean everything else out and then put it all back in. And uh, so I'm getting started on this cut on the end here and I've got a straight edge so that I can follow right along on my outer line there. Awesome. Scientists underway. We got the uh, time lapse uh, going, and uh, this is the beginning of the, probably the first ever van life, bus life chess table built in <laughs> <laughs> to the existing table here. So, this is uh, super exciting. Underneath all of this wood and this weight is a new chess table made by Wanderboom. So if you guys are looking for something similar to that or something better, make sure to hit them up and uh, check out their channel as well. Um, you have a tour up yet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Uh, and also I just want to say thank you to Angel for pointing out the fact that white goes right when it comes to a chess table because I had no clue whatsoever. <laughs> that looks heavy. I had uh, <laughs> no clue whatsoever, and uh, yeah, so I mean, just imagine if I had a, went to all this effort to make a chess table and then it was actually backwards. That wouldn't be, be super awesome. That wouldn't be like a cool thing, so um, yeah, I just love how this is coming together and you know, we're going to make it nice and beautiful. All right, let's have Eric explain what exactly is going on. If you guys didn't, uh, weren't paying attention or uh, aren't following along, this is one of the countertops. So, and Eric's about to cut my countertop right in half. <laughs> and a scary cut it is. Uh, this is our first cut for the waterfall part of it. We've you know, got the main flat. We need a 45 cut here, and it'll drop down four and a half inches. And then, so there'll be a part of this I'll have to cut, it'll cut off. Then this part will become that part, and then the remainder will go the rest of the way out. So. Um, yeah, and so for a waterfall, if someone isn't following along, yeah, it, it, we're just going to go wood, 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 with all with the same grain and the same piece. Yep. Awesome. It's going to look gorgeous. Yep, yep. Here goes nothing, folks. <laughs> Legend <laughs> Eric Vanderboom putting in holy moly, this is prettier than I thought it was gonna look like. <laughs> My goodness, I know it's a little dark for you guys, but there we go. There's no lights in the bus yet, but this is um, what you'll see when you enter on both sides. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, holy moly. The rough idea. Mm -hmm. Now the now the fine tuning. All right, this is the exciting moment. <laughs> <laughs> Eric is uh, going to put this bad boy together. And uh, yep, got to do a little bit more scribing and and get this piece to fit against this piece a little bit better. Right. So I want to get the. Little bit of, uh, Yep, he has a little gap there. I'm not really sure how to... Yeah, I'm going to have to trace it and then uh, custom sand it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. So it'll be a little more a little more tweaking. Yep, but uh, this is uh, what it is going to look like here. This one came out really well, and obviously to make this 245s, we lost uh, about, well, I don't know, three inches, three and a half inches, four inches yeah. out of that little knot there. So that's just kind of... Uh, Nature of the beast. <laughs> kind of just how that goes. 
But it looks incredible. Imagine both sides of, uh, of the bus will have this. And then um, right here we'll have separate trim pieces going around the, uh, the bench, but wow. If anybody uh, wants something similar, make sure to hit up Eric. He's uh, on the road and, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll stop by wherever you are with, within reason. Have tools, we'll travel. <laughs> there we go.